Let's put that theory to the test. In your team. Tips to instantly get better at Apex Legends Season 7. Hey there everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video on Tuber Gaming. Whether it's the introduction to Horizon, the latest Olympus Arena, or the addition of Community Clubs, it's arguably true that Apex Legends has never looked or felt as good as it has since the release of its newest season. In order to help bright-eyed newcomers, here are 5 tips to instantly get better at Apex Legends Season 7. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. If you love the game, then don't hesitate in dropping a like. Alright, let's get into it. Number 5. Optimizing Optic Sensitivity Although for most gamers the option of optic sensitivity is more of a personal preference, the majority would obviously want to find an ADS sensitivity that suits them the best. Whether 3x, 6x, or even 10x, optimizing optic sensitivity will significantly improve your overall experience, and believe me, it's quite easy to do. Just under the movement slash aiming settings, you'll find the per optic settings, where you can change the ADS sensitivity for all available optics in the game. This can be especially beneficial for new players, and even returning players, who often feel like the higher zoom optics are too slow for them. Using the optimization option, you'll be able to set individual sensitivities for each of the optics, and hence, you can test out each one of these with a variety of playstyles. Number 4. Choosing the best field of view Coming to the next crucial aspect of settings, the field of view. In the graphics tab of the settings, the field of view slider enables you to expand the width of your view, ranging from 0 to 120. Based on the size of your TV or computer screen, you can adjust the field of view until you get the one that feels right for you. That said, if you're adjusting this setting for the very first time, it's best for you to turn it up to at least 90 in order to increase the amount that you can see on your screen. Moreover, upon experimenting, you'd find the perfect spot to be around 102 to 106, as this allows you to visualize a lot more on your screen without limiting how far you can see on the map. This in turn is quite helpful in reacting quicker in short to mid-range gunfights. If you find your targeting more difficult after increasing your field of view, don't worry, as this only lasts till the adjustment period, after which you'll be able to aim and target much faster and more accurately than ever before. Number 3. Dead Zone is Important Despite its significance in Apex Legends, most players aren't aware of the fact that their dead zone can be changed from the settings. And shockingly enough, some may not even know its actual meaning in the game. Dead Zone is basically the setting used on the controller to halt analog drift by making a small area around the thumbstick unresponsive to minor movements. If a player doesn't experience analog drift, they can increase the response time of their analog movements by reducing the dead zone value. However, if you do experience analog drift, your best bet would be keeping your dead zone at a comfortable level to counter this, but you can still decrease its value to the point of improvement without causing drift, provided that you keep experimenting to see what fits best. Number 2. Hip Fire After you start practicing decreasing your dead zone, the hipfire feature in Apex Legends can be extremely useful and accurate, eventually allowing you to win more gunfights up close. Without aiming, you can benefit from the first shot off in a gunfight by simply hip firing, which will ultimately improve your accuracy on the controller and make you feel more comfortable with your aiming ability, indirectly improving your ADS accuracy as well. So, from now on, you can practice hipfire accuracy in the firing range and get used to gunning down people without the need to aim. Number 1. Response Curve and Recoil Patterns The five different response curves available in Apex Legends have the ability to alter your analog stick's response to input. A majority of players prefer adjusting their response curve when coming from a different FPS game in order to get something more familiar. That said, the classic option is by far the best, according to several popular Apex Legends YouTubers, as this response curve will fundamentally make your aim better. Also, when we talk about recoil patterns, the firing range is the most suitable place to practice and learn these patterns to improve your aim with a variety of guns, before you decide to return to the arena. The best way to understand a gun's recoil pattern is to simply shoot at the floor without touching your thumbstick, as it allows you to see the bullet line. Learning these, especially with the gun preferable to you, will raise your chances of success in gunfights by increasing your aiming ability. You'll also find yourself staying on target more often. 
Since these five tips involving Apex Legends Season 7 include a variety of both game settings and gameplay, they will be quite helpful for you. Especially when it comes to getting the most out of your aim on console. Well, do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. This brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then let us know by liking the video. Stick around for more amazing content as we will soon be seeing you in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.